Hey guys, welcome back. Today it's uh, Easter. Uh, today what we're going to be doing is making up cell builders, getting ready for the queen rearing that I'm going to be doing uh, next week. Probably start grafting next week. Getting ready for that. Uh, splits are coming up here in about two weeks. And uh, so I need to start making cells, getting ready for those splits. Be selling some nukes about that time. Uh, I've gone through a couple nukes already. Added a couple frames, ones that were lagging a little bit, took away frames, added some boxes. So we're building up nicely right now here in Missouri. And today I'm going to take you with me as I uh, get the cell builder ready and kind of show you what I do there. First step will be finding the queen. Obviously we can't have the queen in there. we got to make this uh, queenless. And what I'm doing here is I've got a 10 frame double deep. I'm going to leave uh, one deep as the cell builders. And hopefully this year I'll be able to raise a few more queens with that setup. Last year I basically just did a 5 over 5 uh, nuke. And I don't think I had quite enough bees in there. Had decent decent success uh, raising, raising queens and stuff. But uh, I'm hoping with a little bit more volume of bees this year I'll uh, have a little better uh, grafting success. Last year it was probably about 60-70% to 70 every week. So I'm hoping to up that, adding a little more volume uh, of bees, and something I can keep going that way. This uh, this box here, uh, she's a really prolific queen. It'll probably be a queen I'll be uh, grafting off of. Um, so anyways, let's see if we can find the queen and kind of dig in there and uh, get ready for uh, soul building and grafting season. Okay, as I mentioned, this, this was a, uh, this is a double deep. They've been doing pretty good so far this year. I have taken away a few frames here, here and there this spring just to kind of give them a little bit of room. They've been building pretty fast. And gave them a couple frames of empty, empty combs so the queen would lay in those. They had quite a bit of honey left so I took a few frames of honey away. You can see the main nest of the bees is over here. They still got quite a bit of honey on these these frames over here yet. And what I'm going to do is, you know, take five five frames out, and uh, those are the ones will be moving over to this other other dead out that I had that died this this fall. And uh, they got ended up getting robbed out. Didn't, didn't even make the winter. Just a frame of honey, fresh nectar, some pollen in there. Back side the same, so let's throw this down here. So far this year, we've had a pretty decent spring. We did have a little bit of cold snap there in February. Uh, March has been uh, really pretty good for us overall. And uh, had a pretty good buildup so far. Uh, maples are pretty much done now. Um, there are a few around. There are some. Uh, I guess uh, wild plums and stuff that are starting to blossom. My uh, apple trees in my orchard are just starting to leave out, so those are getting pretty close. We've got dandelions on right now, so for us here in southwest Missouri, we're going to be getting swarm season, you know, towards the end of the month. So we kind of got to get ready for that. There have been a lot of drones that have been laid up, and. Uh, so the bees are getting ready as well. Another frame of honey and pollen there. And uh, the difficulty with the double deep is to find the queen. It's a lot of bees to go through. There are some fresh eggs on this one here. 
nice patch of eggs surrounded by pollen and then you got honey rimming there so the nest is uh, starting to develop here pretty nice. Resources are flowing in really heavy. And I'm pretty sure I marked this queen but uh, it is a lot of bees to go through. We got a lot of fresh eggs on this side as well. I am seeing a few drones. So what will happen with the cell builder is uh, the, they will be queenless. Uh, what I'll end up doing is uh, letting them you know, be queenless here for, oh, I probably won't graft till like Thursday. And by that time they'll uh, have made queen cups where they choose. Uh, any of those uh, eggs will have hatched into larvae. So I'll destroy those queen cups, and when I put the grafts in, then they'll start making the queen cells. Everything else in that uh, bottom box will be too old for them to make um, queen cells from. So at that point, anything I introduce will uh, start being queen cells. And this will be the, the hive that I use all summer when I'm... Uh, Queenering, which is going to happen here really, really soon. Another nice frame, solid, solid eggs on both both ends there. This queen is doing awesome. Like I said she's going to be one of my breeders. She was a 2020 queen that I made, and uh, she's just been doing really good. Last fall she kind of lagged, but we we're in that drought. But uh, they came through the winter really strong, and then. Here this spring, she has just uh, been going gangbusters. So, now I see her down there on the next frame. If I can manage to get her before she goes down. We'll see if that happens. She was just on the bottom of this next frame. So, hopefully she didn't go down the bottom box. So this is a Russian mutt. You can see her right there. Nice little blue dot on her. Real pretty girl. So now that I know I have the queen, this makes it so much easier. I can get her moved to this this box here. They'll have a nice little pile of bees with them. Give them some honey. Some nice drawn, already drawn out comb for her. So she can start laying into that. And we'll have us another colony developed here. So for now, I'm just going to kind of leave this open a little bit. Uh, the bees will end up going down and uh, they'll end up going out the rest of the box. So we'll be in good shape here. If I look down, you can see the bottom is just uh, full of bees. So all these drills will end up be, uh, being real nice for making a nice cell builder. We're going to make some queens from this this girl right here. 
all these bees in here they're going to raise me some nice queens queen cells here next week and uh, this year I'll actually try to do a grafting video and uh, kind of show you what's going on there but anyhow we are uh, getting ready for expansion in the apiary uh, this winter was uh, pretty difficult for me uh, had about 50% loss I think uh, last year with the drought they were just stressed going into winter and uh, I just put too much stress on them. I fed them a lot but they just didn't seem to take it so this year we're going to be doing a lot of expansion trying to get built up to where I, I was last year. So thanks for watching everyone and we'll catch you on the next video.